change. Tonight, WOWT 6 News' Matthew Smith continues our coverage on the deadly crash that took the life of Sarah Root. Matt? And Mallory, John, we are joining you live outside of the Omaha Police Station because that's where family members want to see this man, Edwin Mejia. He's been on the run for more than a month now. Although we actually have a better picture to show you. We'll take a look down here. This is a picture ICE released just last month. An updated image to go along with an updated name. We've now learned he also goes by the name Edwin. The woman he hit, the young woman who eventually died, this is her, Sarah Root. While she is gone, her memory is anything but forgotten. Last night, we told you about a huge rally near 78th and Dodge. Hundreds showed up to sign petitions that Sarah's dad plans to take the Nebraska Supreme Court. I'm told more than 1,000 people signed that petition. Now, I have been hearing online from our viewers throughout the day, both on my page and WOWT 6 News, uh, where's the petition now? A lot of you wanted to sign and didn't get a chance to. I've been talking with Scott Root, that's Sarah's dad. He says he's going to line up more events just like that one. And of course, we will keep you posted as that information becomes available. As for what's unfolding, this movement, uh, I'm told by legal experts, it's nothing short of amazing. Thanks for your support, Randy. The Root family has made this an issue on everybody's mind, and that's a good thing. That's Marty Convoy's take on the push Sarah Root's family has made to keep her story alive. But if you ask him about the Douglas County judge they're trying to remove from office, Judge Marcuso, you'll get a different answer. Well, the irony of this is Judge Marcuso is probably the toughest judge on drunk driving. I mean, lawyers uh, fear him. Convoy says judges have few details to work off of. Cases unfold within hours of the actual events. All that said, Convoy thinks changes to the system are likely needed. Sarah Root's dad tells me he doesn't heap all the blame on the judge, but that doesn't mean he won't do what he can to prevent a situation like this, an accused vehicular homicide suspect on the run, from happening to another family. I don't want no family to go through what we had to go through. You know, it could be your, your mother, your father, your daughter, your son. It's not going to change nothing for me. But right now, nobody's held accountable for what they did. Root says at the very least, he has to try to fix the situation. Matthew Smith. WOWT 6 News. And we will keep you updated on future events here on WOWT 6 News. And if you would like to read more about how local politicians are holding ICE's feet to the coals over this situation, or why legal experts say it's impossible for the judge to defend himself, you can check out our website. We have extensive coverage at WOWT.com.